A woman in the low country is calling for more protections for pets left in hot cars here in South Carolina. This comes after she says she found a dog locked in a truck this week and she learned that there actually isn't very much that she could do to help. Yeah, News 2's Aaron Morgan joins us in studio. Aaron, you spoke to the woman about what happened and police about what actions people can take. Yes, the woman says that she was at a shopping center in Somerville when she noticed the dog locked in a vehicle. She said the windows were rolled down slightly, but she noticed the dog was panting excessively, and that's when she called the police. It's just not okay to leave your dog in a car. I, I don't I don't care. The windows, it still gets too hot in a car for a, an animal to be left inside. Tamara Bailey says it was around the hottest part of the day when she spotted the dog inside a truck that was not running Tuesday afternoon. And the truck had windows down partially. Um, I'd say no, not even a foot on, on both the drivers and the passenger side. Bailey says she immediately jumped in to help and gave the dog some water before calling 911. I wasn't able to get the cup in, but I was able to kind of put it to the to the top of the window where it was cracked. Bailey says two officers arrived and after searching the vehicle's license plate, they advised her they were going to try and wait for the owner. The officers were out there for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and they checked on the dog the entire time. Uh, again, the windows were down partially. It looked like the, the owner of this vehicle tried to park in the shade. Experts say cracking a window makes little to no difference on the temperature inside a vehicle. In fact, temperatures inside can reach up to 120 degrees within 20 minutes on a hot day. But Somerville police officials say officers determined the dog was okay before leaving. According to one of the officers who's got previous years of canine experience, um, you know, he didn't feel like this dog was in distress. Bailey tells me officers also advised her not to do anything to step in. What can I do? You know, if I have to break the window, well, I don't advise you to break the window. Um, it's someone else's property. Um, I don't advise you to reach your hand inside. You might get bit. Somerville police say that's because there's no protection for good Samaritans trying to save an animal from a hot car. If the citizen feels that it's necessary to, to break a window, you know, it, it's going to be on them. While the state does not have a law that specifically addresses leaving animals unattended in vehicles, police say pet owners could face penalties. And when it's hot outside, I mean, it's the middle of July. So, yeah, there's certainly charges that, that an owner could face. Bailey says the owner eventually returned to the vehicle and drove away with his dog. I was out there uh, an hour at least. Now she says more needs to be done in South Carolina to protect pets in hot cars. She hopes sharing her concern can spark change. Some of these things need to be updated and really taken care of because these are living beings. And again, police say the best thing that you can do in this state if you see a dog inside a hot vehicle is to call 911. That way the police can assess the situation and you won't potentially face any penalties. In the studio, I'm Erin Morgan. Count on two.